Hey, welcome back to another video for our uh, C Sharp class. We're going to start a series here called Activity 2. There's going to be two projects in this activity. The first one is how to demonstrate things such as inheritance, polymorphism, and interfaces. So this is classic object-oriented programming, basic things that every programmer should know regardless of your language. So this might work in C Sharp as we're doing. The same concepts will apply in Java and PHP and JavaScript and many of the other classes or other languages that are out there in the world today. The second part is we're going to create a chessboard and work with a two-dimensional grid. So that'll come in a little bit. So let's get started with animal classes and you'll see how this makes uh, some simple examples make uh, object-oriented programming make sense. All right, so let's move into Visual Studio. And we're going to start by demonstrating using a console app. So I'm going to create this uh, new project. I'm going to call it Animal Classes. And let's choose a console app. All right, so here we go. We got a basic main program started. Now I'm going to start by adding a class directly to this project here. So let's go to Add. And I could choose New Item, or I'm going to select Class here, which will save a click. And the class is going to be called Animal. Animal. So let's say in object-oriented programming, remember that you're always trying to model something in the real world when you create a class. And so in this case, we are going to create a list of animals. We're going to have dogs and cats, maybe gorillas and lions or something else like that. But right now, we're going to start with a basic animal. So the first thing you have to do in a in a in a class is to create a constructor. So this constructor is simply going to print a message. So let's type in CW tab tab and I'm going to type in animal constructor. So it'll just tell us that the animal is being built. Okay so the first thing that I want to do is have this animal greet you. So I'll just make it generic to say animal says hello. Okay so I'm going to make a class called greet. I'm going to make another one called talk and another one called sing. And so right now all they do is print out a message. And so animals are generic. So I don't know what kind of singing he does or what kind of uh, talking he makes. Uh, maybe when we get into dogs and cats they'll sound different, but right now this is a generic animal. Okay, so what do we do with an animal? Well, we can make an instance of him. So let's go into program and double click here. And I'm going to create a new animal. So I can put in the word animal. And I'm going to call this thing beast. And he is a new animal. So I don't know what kind of animal is, so I'm just going to call him a beast. What can beast do? So if I type in beast dot, you can see his methods down here. So he can greet you, he can talk, and he can do a two string. So let's try a greeting. And then let's say beast, we're going to do a talking. And what was the other one? Beast can do singing. Okay, now, to, before, uh, before I end the program, I'm going to do a console read because um, it just gives a pause before the end of the program. So read line will wait for the user to press enter. Okay, so let's see what happens when we do our, our, our program. So we're expecting three items. Let's see if we get three. So it prints three things. Actually, it printed four. Look at that. So the first thing, remember, is the constructor. So that prints, and then the other three methods, such as greeting, talking, and singing, are all done. Let's press Enter. All right, so that demonstrates uh, some of the properties of an or methods of, a, of an animal. What happens if animals have other properties? So I'm going to think of two properties that we could provide to an animal. Uh, is alive. So that's a Boolean value. Is this guy alive or is he dead? And let's check his weight. So in, in C Sharp, you might remember that we could use the getter and setter method here, and we put that in these curly brackets here. So if you uh, don't put those in, you won't be able to modify these values. So another method that is very common is the toString method. So if we put in there public uh, string and called it toString, we could print off a message. We could say return, and we're going to say um, status and we'll put in there is alive there we go so we can tell if he's alive or dead and let's do his uh, weight and let's see that was called weight I believe there it is okay 
So now in our program, let's go and print the status here before we're done. So let's say, let's do a console write and do uh, beast.toString. And let's see, toString probably needs to have, oops, got to spell it right too. All right, so now we should see a little bit more information and to see what our animal is up to. So uh, his status is false, so he must not be alive, and his weight is zero. We haven't actually initialized those values. So let's go and make one more change in our program, and then we will move on. So we got our new beasts. Let's say I want to, uh, when I create the beast, I want to put in his, his uh, status here. So I'm going to say he's true, and he weighs 100 pounds. Okay, so now since these two parameters are going into my animal, Let's go and fix this up. It says here, animal does not contain a constructor that takes these two arguments. So let's go choose some potential fixes here. So we're going to generate the constructor animal or add the parameters to it or generate an animal without the fields. So I think the best way to fix this is to go back into animal and create a second constructor. So this constructor is just for no parameters. Let's, uh, let's make a copy of it. And let's make one that has two constructors in it. So this one has a boolean is alive, and the second one is called uh, his weight, which is an integer. I'm just going to use the letter W. And so now inside of our constructor, we're going to say that uh, is alive, or we're going to say this dot is alive equals to is alive. So that's the parameter that's passed into it, and the other one is this dot um, weight and he is set to W. Let's run it once more time, and this time we should see a different status for our animal. So he is now true, which is alive, and then weight is 100. Okay, that's a good stopping point. We've got ourselves a good class. We've got a model that is about an animal, and we'll extend that to dogs and cats and other animals in future videos.